Are you a live person? What's the brand and model of your appliance? How old is it? Maytag Bravo Top Load Washing Machine MCT How long has this been going on with your Maytag washer? What have you tried so far? Just today. Unplugged it, raised the lid 12 times, disconnected and reconnected the water hoses. Anything else we should know to help you best? No, please connect me. Hello, this is Brandon, your appliance expert. What is happening with your clothes washer that you would like help with? K, okay, it's the Maytag Bravo MCT. When you hit the start button it goes to sensing. Then sometimes it spits a little water in it and sometimes it doesn't, never goes through the cycle. Also the lid locked light is not coming on. It used to always come on. Up until this morning, everything worked. The machine is not that old and it says right on it, 10 year warranty, limited. Let's use the chat box for now. Are you still there? If it never locks it may need a new lid lock assembly but usually that will shut off and give an error code. Also, the lid 12 times thing is for a different style of washer, this one could possibly be solved by this style of calibration, https colon slash www.searspartsdirect.com slash DIY slash article slash how to calibrate a washer after a repair video also, do you have the model number of the appliance? It should be on a tag under the lid, something it's at the back of the console. K, follow the instructions on the link you provided. That did not seem to help. Found the model number MVWSX655DW1 and the SAIR. C74442521. Okay. It is a similar method to check error codes or run tests, https colon slash appliance slash washer repair slash Maytag Centennial slash Maytag Centennial washer diagnostic tests dot php it says Centennial there, Bravo's instructions are here but might not match the control style, https colon slash appliance dot com slash washer repair slash Maytag Bravo slash Maytag Bravo's washer diagnostic modes dot php. If it is the lid lock, that is part number W11307244, you can see instructions on replacing it here, https colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch, v equals s4 ppnv v. I set it to rinse and spin, and the lid lock light is back on now. I'm waiting for that cycle to complete. Okay. Hopefully it just needed a reset, fingers crossed. Okay, so it finished the rinse and spin, the lid lock light went off. Tried to run a wash cycle, and it still gets stuck in sensing. But the lid does lock on rinse and spin. The sensing is done by a sensor that is part of a piece called the actuator, part number W10913953. Video instructions, https colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals a watt mood 26 at calibration needs to be done after replacing this part. K, okay, so ran the tests, the Centennial is the ones we needed to run. It ran through all the tests and found no errors. Put it back on a wash cycle and it still gets stuck in the sensing mode. Now what? I would suspect the issue is with the actuator slash sensor. It could potentially be a bad control board or a physical problem with the way the tub is moving, but they are one. Less likely, two. Much more expensive to fix, and three. 
difficult to prove unless there is bad noise from the movement of the drum. I would recommend replacing the actuator and running a calibration cycle. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.